are not a lot of good models or LLMs for audio. And here is a new model or new concept called audio GPT that can help you use existing large language models like chat GPT and connect it with other models, interface models for automatic speech recognition and text to speech and build a completely new system called audio GPT. So what is audio GPT is what we're going to see in this video. And we are going to also see about what are the things that they have made us available for us. So first audio GPT is understanding and generating speech, music, sound and talking head. So if you have seen, uh, let's say news, breaking news on TV or YouTubers, that's what we call as talking head where, you know, there is a human talking head actually talking things. So what is this model? So this is a multimodal AI system called audio GPT, which complements large language models like chat GPT, that is foundation models to process complex audio information and solve numerous understanding and generation tasks. The input and output interface ASR stands for automatic speech recognition. TTS stands for text to speech to support the spoken dialogue, which means you can ask something, you can ask this audio GPT to do something and then the audio GPT will do it and also give you process audio and then give whatever the response in audio. And that's what audio GPT is. You can see the details of how it works. Basically, you have got the modality transformation here. Input could be audio that could be transformed into text. Like you can use, they, they might be using models like whisper here. We'll see the model details later on. And then the task analysis there, what kind of task? Speech recognition, speech translation, text to speech and so on. And then that is gone to the LLMs like chat GPT here. Then the audio model is picked and then something has been done. And then the response is given back to the modality transformation. In evaluating these models, they've used consistency, capability and robust robustness as the properties of these details. We can discuss more around this thing, but I would leave this paper to you for you to read it. But what I wanted to show you is what kind of tasks that they currently support. So if you take audio GPT as a model, what are the things that audio GPT supports? It supports speech recognition. It uses whisper. It supports speech translation. It uses multi decoder. I'm not sure why they are not using whisper. I would, I would have probably used whisper style transfer and they are using gene or speech, speech enhancement, speech separation, something that a lot of YouTubers like to do, especially if you have got multiple speech, sometimes, you know, podcasters would like to extract the speech separately. Mono to binaural audio in painting, making an audio model, sound extraction, sound detection, talking head synthesis is also there. So the output in this case is a video, which means you can give an audio input. You can get a video output where there is a talking head and you have got audio to text, which is quite a common thing that we have been recently seeing. And you have got image to audio and a singing synthesis where it actually generates a music. So you can see that the final output is an audio, the input is a musical score. So now the model has been released or the system has been released as um, GitHub repository. You can go ahead and then check. You can also see what kind of capabilities it has got separated by the particular domain speech, singing, audio, talking head, and they have also appreciated the open source projects that has made it possible. If you want to see a live demo, you can click this link and go to the hugging face spaces and then see. And uh, you have to add your hugging face or sorry, open a API token here because that's what it is going to use. And once you paste your token here, you can press enter and you can give a task. If you're not familiar with the task, you can pick any of the examples here. Like one of the examples that I picked is it said, I said, generate a speech with the text that says, here we go. So now it has actually generated an audio file that has been saved here. Let me play that for you. Honestly, there is nothing that says here we go. Um, but the point here is that you can test this and then see how it works. In fact, like you can test other aspects as well. But right now what we have got here is we have got an audio GPT, a multi-modal system, not necessarily one model, but a system that talks to a lot of other models, like very similar, like what we have seen with hugging GPT and all the other systems that is coming up where you're using large language model as the communication platform or the means of communication, just like language, like just like human beings, you use the LLMs to do certain tasks and get it done and then give it back to you. 
I'm quite excited to see where this model is going to take us. I would love to hear what do you feel about this. All the required links, the paper, the GitHub repository and the Hugging Face Spaces will be in the YouTube description. Please check it out. See you in another video. Happy prompting.